we are gonna be doing something that no one has ever done in this building before, a blood ritual sacrifice for Robert the doll. What's up? So we're thinking about doing a blood ritual with a Robert the doll replica. What would you say about that? <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I don't know what we just did. I'm gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> and I'm never afraid of that doll and I'm, he was scary. If, if your intention of the video is to see if you leave here and you start to experience things, I, I can like almost guarantee that it'll, it'll happen. Tonight, whatever happened in this room truly changed my outlook on not only the paranormal, but the power of this doll behind me. The most haunted object in the entire world. This is the biggest video of 2023 and there's no doubt about it. I am currently standing in Key West, Florida. I am standing in front of the same building that contains the most haunted item in the entire world. This is the home of Robert the Doll, but before it was Robert's home, it was actually a Civil War fort that turned into a yellow fever hospital. Not only have many deaths occurred inside of this building, but it now contains the most haunted item in the world. Now tonight, I'm here with Exploring with Josh. Thanks to Josh for holding the camera but we are gonna be doing something that no one has ever done in this building before, a blood ritual sacrifice for Robert the Doll. So we actually purchased miniature Robert the Dolls and we are going to prick our fingers and put our blood on the miniature dolls. Now they're currently facing Robert the Doll. The moment we got here, we went and put our dolls against the glass with Robert. We're hoping there's some sort of energy transfer that goes on, but we are gonna be offering up our blood as a token of respect to Robert the Doll. Now many people have come here and completely ruined their lives. From catching cancer, to having relationship problems, to even having their cars malfunction right after they leave this place, we are kind of nervous for what's gonna take place tonight. Now I hope you guys are prepared for what we are about to do and we will give you a warning before we show you Robert in case any of you do not wanna see his face, but we are about to go inside and meet the most haunted object in the entire world. All right guys, really quick, we are right behind Robert the Doll's room. Uh, I am going to call Sam from Sam and Colby and ask if it's okay and what he thinks if we should do the blood sacrifice ritual with the other Robert the Dolls and give it to Robert the Doll. And we're also going to ask him like, is this even a good idea to be here and what was his experiences? So I'm calling him right now. Here we go. Oh, God. All right. Hopefully this is loud enough for everybody. What's up, man? All right, Sam. Um, I'm in Key West, and I'm looking at the building Robert the Doll is in right now. I'm also with Kalani the Ghost Hunter. It's just us two here. I just got to ask you, man. Your video did over 8 million views because you are like the first or maybe the second or third at least to put a YouTube video out on Robert the Doll, right? Uh, I think so. We are one of the first, but it's a, it's a fucked place, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I watched your video, and what was going on? You like ran out and you threw up or you got sick? Dude, for the first time ever, I mean, we've been ghost hunting for six years, and after looking at Robert the doll, like I literally was like throwing up, dry heaving all over the place. Holy for fuck, dude! Hour. All right. Like, to what this day, I've never had a physical reaction like I did next to that doll. It's it's legit for sure. Do you think? Well, you you think it's the most haunted object in the world? I mean, it's got, like, in terms of what I've experienced, I've never been yeah. next to an object that has made me feel like that. No. And he's seen so, a lot I mean, of shit. Obviously. Yeah, he did see a lot of shit. Okay, I got one question for you, Sam. What's up? So, we're thinking about doing a blood ritual with a Robert the Doll replica and putting it and giving it as an offering to Robert the Doll. What would you say about that? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, so I mean, he just threw deal. up. Here's the deal. I think that that doll specifically is all about respect. So if you're legit doing an offering to show respect or to you know give more energy, that might be good. But if you're doing it to fuck with the doll, then you're gonna regret that. Oh. Okay. Now this is random, but a lot of people say that. 
the doll can cause like health issues to you like obviously you threw up but it gives you bad luck now you did that video eight months ago and you had some pretty bad luck this year but also colby did too do you think it could be from that doll i mean <clears throat> What was so weird is we did not believe that it was going to give us bad luck. And then, yeah, like this year has been the most crazy ups and down year of our entire lives. Um, so who's to say? I mean, yeah, a lot of a lot of like the people that watch the video have blamed a lot of health issues that Colby's had. Yeah, bad luck that we've had like this year on Robert the Doll. Obviously, that's, you know, teach their own. But that's the thing, it's like, it's, it's up to you if you want to risk it, because there has been 10,000 uh, letters of apologies. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, the baby. Yeah. Well, alright, Sam, I appreciate your time, man. I mean, you're, this is making me really nervous now if I want to do the blood thing or not. So. <laughs> uh, dude, you're, you're, you're putting up a big risk, that's for sure. Yeah, like, I actually don't want anything to happen to me because of this but all right man i was just calling you i mean thank you for your time i'm sure i'll see you soon so anything you want to say to the cams like any any anything's coming out anything cool's coming soon dude i mean for you guys just remember when you leave apologize and be respectful but oh, obviously true. okay we got to like we'll see you soon bro all right we'll see you man so yeah sam sam and colby have a crazy conjuring series coming out soon so you guys check that out too so, all right. All right. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Good all luck, guys. Right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. He did, not, he did not sound excited when we said the blood ritual. He was like, bro, you are taking it to the next I level. I know. I know. And I don't know. Do you think we should just not do it? Josh, I'm going to tell you something. Oh, my God. We are here to push the boundaries. Well, remember, it's respect. We're being respectful. We're not doing it in a way no, that we are not. challenging Robert. We are doing it in a way to try and give him our literally a piece of us. us. Yeah, so I think in that capacity... We're giving him our power, and maybe he might even help us back. What if... Who's to say we don't live a hundred extra years after this? Yeah, I mean, maybe we, we will find good. the positive yes. of the Robert the Doll curse. So, I don't know. Right. Let's do this shit. Let's freaking go. So, you got the gift shop. Right. You start off in the gift shop, but then right here, you got the dungeon where it all pretty much begins. Like, it, it mm. looks sinister. We're about yeah. to go in. Stanley Capio. So, this is the guy that does all the artwork. I think he died, but there's like all these creepy, weird, like metal structures. Yeah, well, apparently they said that uh, his whole yard was, they were complaining because he had so many sculptures in his yard that the neighbors were complaining. So they were able to come here. Like, dude, look at that. <laughs> that thing is weird. I know. The oh, jeez, like, what the heck hang on, is wait. going on? Hey. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. We're going to get banned already on, on YouTube for it. Dude, that, oh, that is my favorite piece. The alligator. That's that's cool. Okay. I like the red lighting in here. Gives it that spooky vibe. Okay. It does. So that must be him with the, the yard sculptures. So these were the tunnels that were a part of the fort structure. And during the yellow fever, this is where they started packing bodies in when they ran out of space. So think about the smell in here. Think about literally the image of seeing bodies just stacked up. And not to mention all of the things that you are expulsing from your body, whenever yellow fever is taking place, that black liquid, right? You turn yellow, your eyes turn yellow. Like there is a wild history and it doesn't even have to deal with Robert the doll right now. No, I know. That's what's insane about it. You know what it is too? It's like, so apparently over here, this is where the people and even the tour guide will not come alone. They will not go over there alone. They're freaking scared. So. This is something we're going to have to investigate, is this area when we get started. And, and you know what's really weird? So this is also the tunnel that Sam took off running in his video. That was the area that he got really sick and took off running out of. Dude. So I don't know what hangs out here, but it's something scary enough and powerful enough to make somebody literally sick. It could be Robert or it could be something completely different. And we don't know. Oh, it might be a plane outside? I'm hearing like a roar. Dude, this crosses by here Look at that. to get in here. 
That doesn't. I didn't even notice that. Oh, maybe that's because of also maybe one of these objects is because of the Rick Museum or not museum artifacts because there are haunted artifacts here. We got the Devil's Mask, the Haunted Key West. So. You know, we don't know. We don't know. Well, you know what's crazy also is they have people from around the world send in their own haunted objects. So they've got miniature Roberts that people bought in the store that they're like, get this thing out of my house. I cannot live with this thing at my house. So they have people that send them haunted dolls and haunted objects because they know that they'll have a place to stay here, but they need them out of their house. Wow. So they send them here for us to investigate pretty much. But as you come down here, it does get a little, a little loud because of the air conditioner, but again, you're going to be running into more haunted Last artifacts. Last rice box, dude. That's Think of the energy that thing holds. I know. What is this one? This is an idol. Dang. So most idols, like people worship them in some spirituality, so that I'm not familiar with that one by any means, but yeah, an idol is something that people usually just worship or, or, or kind of dedicate energy to. Right. Strangle keys. And of course, besides the doll that we're investigating, Robert, we have more haunted dolls. Yeah, like, look at this. They're just... Hey, you can't bring it in. So you got Annabelle and you got Robert in one room. Dang, Dude, this one, though. It says, do not touch. Hey. Oh, no. Do not touch. Don't do it. Oh, dude, no. Not before we even start. Uh, I had to. Should I do uh, all of them? Should I touch all of them? Uh, no, no, don't touch them. <laughs> I had to do it. We had to do it. All right, hope God help us. Please it's like when you, when you see the red button and they're like, yeah. and I'm like, ah, do, 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 do,
if I wasn't even doing a ghost video right here. And to be fair, this place again, closed down, I think it was like 1994 or is it? Yeah, 1994. It opened in 1994. Yeah, true. And so it's been pretty much just been like this ever since. There's no beds left. There's no nothing, but maybe through ghost investigating, we can ask them what was the first floor used for or where did they stay or something, you know what I mean? Well, remember that we were told one very specific thing that they think riled up all the spiritual activity here is when this place was abandoned, people would come in and do seances and Ouija board sessions in the very room Yo, that we were standing in. Yes, which means they could even open up portals here that we're about to embrace. So you've got possibly Robert being a portal himself that's facts and then you've got this place that could be a place where portals were opened as well so we could be dealing with multiple portals multiple entities all ranging from good to very evil true so oh we've God, kind of explored bro. the rest of the fort yes but now comes time for the reason that we flew thousands of miles for one object and it's literally you could just it's clear as day look at look at that room it's glowing in purple it, it looks haunted right now it looks haunted. It's the most haunted objects and it's right there in front of us. In that room is the most haunted object in the world being Robert the doll. Mm -hmm. So they actually believe that this thing is not only just one entity, but a collective of entities trapped inside of this sailor doll's body. And that's just one idea because in my opinion, I still am gonna hold this down where I believe it's like another demon related to Annabelle that's also hunting this doll because everything that happens to that doll is happening to this doll with people too. It's the same thing. I mean, remember with the Annabelle doll, when the people got hurt after hanging out or seeing Annabelle, they crashed their cars, multiple different crashes. It's all the same stuff. So that's just my opinion, but there are so many different things we don't know. Maybe tonight as we see Robert, we might get our clues now. Well, and one thing that I really wanted to focus on here is the fact that we have come in here with the intent to not to disrespect Robert, but we have a different ritual that we are going to perform in, in the presence of Robert. So I wanted to give a fair warning to anyone listening to my voice right now. If this investigation tonight is too much for you, or you start having things happen at home, you need to turn it off and write an apology letter to Robert ASAP because that is the only way that people have found that their life goes back to normal. So we don't wanna cause you any problems at home, but we are going out of our way to go into one of the scariest spots in all of America. This is Robert the Doll. <sighs> all right, so, in the most informative and descriptive way possible, okay. what can you tell us about this doll that is sitting right behind us? All right, so I'll start, I'll start at the beginning then. Please. Um, so Robert the doll was given to this little boy that lived in Key West as a gift, uh, this little boy named Robert Eugene Otto. Uh, it was given to him uh, for his birthday. Immediately, little Robert, he became obsessed with this doll. He started to bring it around with him everywhere. He would talk to him. Uh, he started dressing him up in his own clothes and eventually he gave him his own name. The little boy started to call the doll Robert, started to refer to him as Robert. He went by his middle name for the rest of his life, Eugene. Um, so it's little, little Eugene Otto and then Robert the doll. Um, his family lived in a house in downtown Key West. After the boy started to get attached to this doll, his parents started to have like paranormal experiences. Um, they would hear Gene talking to somebody in his room and it sounded like there was somebody else in there with him. They would run in, they wouldn't see anybody, but he would be there sitting in front of Robert, like speaking back and forth with them. Wow. Um, things would start flying around their house, furniture would get moved on their own. Uh, they would hear Gene like messing around up in his room and he would come in, things would be broken, uh, things would be missing. The little boy would blame it on Robert. He swore that he didn't do anything. It wasn't me, it was Robert. Robert did it. That's where like, the, fa the famous phrase comes from, Robert did it. Uh, so this, this goes on for a while. Uh, the parents have experiences with Robert and Eugene until Eugene grows up. Uh, when he turns 18, he went to Europe. Uh, he wanted to be a painter, so he went to study art in France. Uh, he lived there for a while, eventually moves back to the United States, brings a wife back with him, this lady named Annette, uh, Annette Parker. Uh, and then they, they went back to New York when they got back to the country. And they lived there for a little while and had like, they had like a pretty normal life. Uh, eventually, Eugene's parents die and they left him the artist's house. So they show back up in Key West. Uh, he never told his wife about Robert, but they get back home. He opens up the door and he's like, hey, I, I wanna introduce you to my best friend. 
and he leads oh, he leads Ann Parker up to the attic, pulls out Robert from this this old box, and from that point on, that was the, that was how his life went. He the whole thing started over again. Just started to spend more time with Robert, um, and so he was a, he was a painter. He was a very successful painter. He would lock himself up in the attic of their house. It's now called the artist's house. It's like this bed and breakfast he can stay at. Is that at. the one that we saw that yeah, has like the, it's on like the Halloween Street. house? Yes, yeah, it's usually decorated. They have that turret in the front. Mm -hmm. That It stands out, there's not a lot of, did you guys hear, yeah, yeah, you guys that? heard that, right? Yeah, I don't know. So behind me is the original home of Eugene Otto, the owner of Robert the Doll initially. Now this is where Robert lived before he was moved to the museum that he's currently in. Now the hauntings are rumored to have started when it was inside of this house. So let's go inside and see. All right, okay, here we go. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. It's just so amazing because the houses are still here, the history is still here, and you know Robert was here, and Gene, and everything, so it's just, it's scary. I mean, we're not necessarily ghosting here, but honestly, We just wanted to show you guys. Well, yeah, if this video gets, like, a lot of views and you guys want it, let me know in the comments below. We'll do an entire ghost video just here. Dude! Oh my Holy gosh! God. I want to stay here. Look at this! Whoa! That's so nice! Robert! So All this right. is the turret suite. Now wait, it looks like it goes up. What's even up there? Oh, that, that brings you to the, to the turret. Yeah, oh, that's what they call it. I didn't even know. Let's go in and check it. Oh, dude, there's another bed. Amazing. It's kind of hot up here, huh? Yeah. It's got to be here, the Ann suite. Oh, literally. So this is Ann's room. And remember, Ann was getting really upset that Eugene was saying, I'm going to rob her right up there. So that's... Okay. So this is the room that she would have spent a lot of her time in, and then Eugene would die. Yeah, she would move away, and that's when the girl, the other owner moved in, and then eventually something was happening to the new owner, and then they gave the doll to the museum. Yep. I love when everything makes sense and you put the pieces together. Yeah, like it's crazy because most of the time we don't have the original house to go back to, but we're literally we're in it. Yeah, we're in it. it's still here. Okay, there's only one place left to go. Okay guys, so I'm up here in the attic where Robert the Doll stayed for many years before he got moved to the museum. This is where Eugene would come and paint and spend a lot of time with him. So we're gonna do a quick DR60. If we get something, we do. If we don't, we don't. Eugene, are you still in this home? Robert, are you here with us? You want to talk to us? Just a quick one, you know, just to see. Are you still on the phone? Don't go. Kinda of sounds like don't go. You wanna talk to her? Nothing on that. So something about Eugene. Maybe saying don't okay, go. Okay, let's ask one question. Yeah, one more. Ask if he paints. I got two questions then. Okay. Eugene, do you want us to come back here and spend a night with you? Anne, are you still here? Do you hate Robert? All right. Who's the last man I love again? So guys, we just wanted to bring you here, give you a little quick walkthrough between Anne's room and the rest of the artist's house. 
but this is the original house that Robert the doll stayed in and that attic was his home. So we're gonna jump back into the investigation at the museum. This was just a quick detour into Robert's original house. So Robert starts to spend, uh, excuse me, Eugene starts to spend a lot of time up in that attic painting. And he would sit up there with Robert the doll and he furnished the apartment for him up there. It would put out little furniture, little chairs, a little bed. And he would just spend all of his time up there with Robert. His, uh, his wife, Anne, hated it, right? She really had no idea that this was waiting for her in Key West. So when she shows up here and this starts to happen, there, uh, you know, a lot of tension comes up in their life. Their marriage kind of falls apart. Yeah, they stay together until Eugene dies. Uh, he dies in the 1970s. Prior to his death, he uh, was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And it hit him really hard, really affected him. I heard that as well, yeah. That was like a voice. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't anything too distinct, but it, would you say it was like a male's like voice? A was it, yeah. I heard it right <laughs> there. Oh, Lord. Dude, we are literally doing an interview in front of the most haunted object in the world. I know, I need that to sink in really quick. Would you, you would say like this is the most haunted object or so, maybe? One of the yeah, most. Yeah, based on the amount of people that have had something happen to them with Robert. Because it's thousands of people that have sent letters in with, with personal accounts of things that have happened since they have seen him, right? Yeah, it happens all the time. We get letters constantly. Eugene's up there suffering from Parkinson's, and at this point, he's like a total shut-in. And he lives out the rest of his life with Robert up in that attic. He really just stays up there until he... I heard that again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty clear. Um, so he, he dies up there. He, uh, he cuts Ann Parker, his wife, out of the will. She doesn't get anything. Why'd she do that? Because, because... Yeah, their, their relationship was very tense yeah. after they got back here to Key West, and he, smart, he started spending time with her, excuse me, time with Robert, Robert. instead of Ann, yeah. Um, he took up most of his time. Um, and she would experience things in the house as well. She had a paranormal activity happen to her but being around Robert. Um, so Ann moves away. The house is up for sale. That's when this other woman buys the house, this woman named Myrtle Reuter. Then Myrtle became the owner of Robert after that. And she had him for a few years, and she lived in the artist's house for a while. Uh, a lot of stories started to come up, like people were going in, renovating the house. They would be up there in the room with Attic, and like, their tools would fly all around. They would hear Robert talk, they would see him move a little bit. And that's kind of when the story really started to pick up a little more, like these different experiences about Robert coming out. So she, she has him for a while. Uh, she eventually moves out of the artist's house, and then nobody knew where he was for a few years. Everybody kind of lost track of Myrtle Reuter. Until one morning, Myrtle Reuter shows up here when the museum opened. She's holding Robert, and she tells the staff, she's like, uh, this is Robert the doll, Eugene Otto's old doll. Uh, I need you to take him off my hands. I don't want him anymore. And she told the people that worked here that the night prior, she was home alone with Robert. She went into her closet. She said Robert got up, slammed the door shut behind her, and, and locked her in the room. This is like, like the doll, like Chucky. This yeah, Chucky, exactly. Like, yeah, real life Chucky. yeah like, like physically, yeah, yeah. physically so, held her in there. Chucky? That's an idea out there. I'm not, not, not like sure how true that. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, that sounds like a Chucky Robert. movie. So this doll, according to her, has come to life and shut her. Yeah, held the door shut in there. What? Want to let yeah. her out. And that was after a few years of her having him. So after that, she was like, oh, I got it. I got to get rid of it. So she drops him off here at the museum. She later died, like about 100 days later. Uh, Myrtle Reuter died. Uh, that was in 1994, and Robert's been here ever since then. And, and so ever since then, just... So uh, the staff here that had Robert in storage, they, they started to experience things with him. Similar things would have happened to people before. They would hear giggling around him all the time. They swore they would see him move. It got to the point where they started to like draw markings around him at night. And then in the morning, he would be like just outside of the little no marking. Way. Yeah, yeah. Um, so eventually they put him out on display for the public in the later part of the 1990s. And that's when on a bigger scale, people started to interact with Robert a little more. Um, and ever since then, uh, Robert's curse is, uh, famously has affected like thousands and thousands of people. Uh, people leave the museum, they feel like they upset Robert, they feel like they disrespected him or insulted him. They leave here and they start to experience Robert's curse, which, uh, which, which is nasty. Um, like for death and illness, like things of bad luck. Uh, 
On a smaller scale, people have car issues a lot when they leave here from the museum, like their tires flat, or their, their batteries dead. But more serious than that, people, they, they get into accidents, they get very sick. I told you guys earlier that uh, a letter that we got recently, somebody said that he had appendicitis. Yeah. Uh, just about like a week or two after they came on the tour, and they, they made fun of them. They wanted to see if it was true. They, they left here, they started to experience the curse. So, is there letters coming in daily? Yeah, pretty much. We get, we almost get one like every day. And you have yeah. people coming here daily to see Robert. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're getting letters daily about like, hey, I'm, I'm sick or my, you know, broken girlfriend, uh, or, you know, shit like that. Like, yeah, all the time. All the time. Broken up with their couples, you know, family issues. A lot of letters, people just, uh, people will see a photo of him on the internet or they'll see a video. Uh, after the Sam and Colby video, we got a ton of letters. The comments of that video, everybody is like, I'm sorry for looking at you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry that oh I even looked at you, Robert. So, that, so people see him on TV or like on YouTube and they feel like they start to experience something. Yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and so the, the question is with it, like, what, what is yeah. it? Like, what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's what, haunting what's, him? What's, what's possessing him? What's your opinion? There's a couple different theories, different stories about it. The, the most popular one that people seem to have heard a lot of people think that somebody that had worked for the autos, uh, like either they were quit or they were fired and then like out of anger in like a voodoo type, like ritualistic way, they make Robert and fit, like give him to that little boy is to curse the family. A lot of people have heard that. We know that one's not true. Uh, we know that he was a German made doll from the Steiff company in Germany, this famous toy company. Uh, but there is a story associated with the Otto family that kind of goes along with the idea of the, the angry ex-employee. Uh, we'll talk about this during the tour later, but there's a, there was a woman, a servant for them named Emmeline Abbott. She worked for them for a long time. Through her census record data, we, we were able to see that Emmeline had a little daughter that died of an illness in Key West around the same time frame that Robert would have arrived to the Otto family. So. Uh, the, the Ottos, they were doctors. Thomas Otto, the little boy's father, he was a doctor. He saw his patients in, in that home, the artist's house. A lot of people believe that this little girl's spirit, her soul found its way into Robert, manifested itself into the doll, and, and that's what it is. A lot of people believe it to be Emmeline's daughter. Uh, that that kind of makes sense. It kind of would explain why little Eugene became so attached to it, right? It was like a companion, like a little kid that he liked to hang out with. Um, and it, it explains like the giggling and like the mischievous little things that happen to people in here. Uh, during the tour, people feel like they're poked on the back. In, in, in this room, while we do the Robert part, they feel like their clothes are getting tugged on. Like a little kid is trying to get get your attention, like get you to notice them. True. So my, I have a random theory now just by hearing this is, what if whatever, what if a demon is also inside of the doll, which is another demon that's also showed, associated to the animal doll? Because this is all equally same stories. I've heard that idea too, and like they uh, they would pretend to be a little kid, yeah. right? Like like the sat like the Sally House, right? Yeah. People think uh, a demon or some sort of dark entity can uh, manifest itself as a little kid to kind of like bring your guard down, right? What there is another idea as, as to what's inside of Robert. A lot of people think multiple entities multiple things come in and out of this doll. All this energy that we put into him um, enables things to kind of go back and forth True. from the different, So yeah. this could be a, a, a portable portal. Yeah, well it makes you wonder, I never right? thought of that. Because my thing with it being a little girl is it seems that this little girl causes a lot of like big problems for mm -hmm. people, right? So it's more in the, in the terms of the consequences of disrespecting this doll, it's a lot more malicious than just you know, you leave here and you just pissed off a doll. It's, mm -hmm. You actually have things happen in your life from that disrespect. So it seems like not only is it super powerful, but it is not afraid to kind of show its teeth if you disrespect it, mm -hmm. which kind of makes you kind of lean towards, is this something darker inside of the doll? Yeah, exactly. And that I, I think it is. I do think that the little girl is, is one of the things in there though. But she's just occupying space with uh, whatever yeah, else is inside there's multiple other Robert. things in there. Um, there's a cool photo back here, if you guys want to see it. Somebody yeah. captured what looks like a little girl in this room. Oh, uh, okay, so that could explain One that. weird part of the entire story is the fact that Eugene gave up his first name mm -hmm. to then give it to this doll. Not yeah. only, he renamed himself to yeah. give this doll his name. So I think there's an element of power in that, because he literally like gave up control. his label to this doll and live the rest of his life by his middle name. I mean, I think that's, there's, I think there's something to that. Yeah, it gave him his own clothes. The, uh, he's yeah. in a sailor 
outfit, like a little sailor uniform. Those clothes that he's wearing used to be Eugene's. They actually used to be his. There's a photo what? outside of it. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. What? Like, Dude, it's almost like this thing is alive. Took over the, yeah, he took over that kid's life. Mm -hmm. And okay. the fact that he even came back as a bill with a companion and still was spending time with Robert. Yeah. Either it, uh, Robert's got massive pull on, on people that he's attached to, which is kind of weird if you think about you guys now, right? All of you, like Travis said, he comes in here, the first person that he told that he was quitting was Robert. Was Robert, yeah. And he didn't even believe in it mm -hmm. when he came into this building. So it's really weird about how when you get close to Robert, it's almost like there's like a charisma from a doll. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we talk to him every night. We, uh, we read him the letters that people send to him so they can hear, you know, he can hear their apologies. Uh, but yeah, we, we make sure to say hi and goodbye to him every evening. Jesus. That's crazy. Do you get EVPs in this room? Constantly. Constantly. Okay. Yeah. That's good. We're gonna have to... So we're going to have to do some six yeah. in here? Yeah. Wow. I've seen people try the, the Estes method in here. They've been very I successful. I want to try every method there is in Yeah, I want to pretty much throw everything we got. Yeah, because we're in the room with the most haunted object in the world, in my opinion, as of, you know, right now. So, God. But yeah, think, things move on their own. Maybe you guys will see something like that. We heard some pretty clear noises oh, over right. there. Like we're going to get camera angles of like this entire room. Yeah, yeah it's a must. This is insane. Um, yeah, I would... So I would focus on, on this archway here, um, where it kind of cuts out. Uh, I, I have this photo over here that I'll show you guys, and it's like this very clear, distinct silhouette of a little girl standing there. Okay, so the final question I got is, do you have any kind of warning for us? Do you have anything that you recommend we do or don't do? Like, we sure. don't necessarily have to play it safe, because me and him like to push, but, you know, what, what would you say about that? I would say to keep it keep it nice and even with Robert, nice and level with yeah. him. Don't don't put him in a, a position of power over yourselves. I try to keep it nice and even keel. But definitely I would I would be respectful. If if your intention of the video is to see if you leave here and you start to experience things, I, I can like almost guarantee that it'll it'll happen. Um, so the scale of it the scale of it's different. It might not be yeah. too crazy, but it, it may be really serious that the yeah. repercussions yeah. of messing with him are no, are, are it out seems there. like this could actually be like the most serious thing ever. <laughs> like actually. I would say goodbye at the end. Okay. Um, yeah, I would definitely uh, cleanse on your way out of here yeah, too. Okay. Yeah, we have some different stuff you could, uh, you could use. Dang, I'll use everything. I won't use any of it. <laughs> I'm gonna use everything. I can't, yeah, we'll see. Like yeah. you want to use it, you use all of it, I'll use none of it. Yeah, and we'll kind of like. Happens. You driving back together, you might want to <laughs> yeah. get a different car. I, I have a different ride home from him, yeah, so good. thank yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, different yeah. Different plane, by the way. <laughs> all right guys, so this is the Robert the doll that I'm gonna buy. And they actually have a limited time Christmas one. So me and Josh are both gonna buy a Robert the doll original and probably a Christmas one too, but I'm gonna take my Christmas one and put it next to Robert as well. I mean, look at that, it's like Elf on the Shelf, but like Robert in the, I don't know, runs with Robert. But I don't know, if, I, I have a feeling that Savannah's not gonna be very happy that I'm bringing in two objects that are sitting right next to the most haunted object in the world. So don't tell her, please. Literally, I've told you once, but please do not tell Savannah. All right, Fuck. we have done the history, we've done the walkthrough. Everything. The only thing we have left to do is ghost hunt. And what better way to start this in complete red and darkness at the same time. I mean, look at this place. I already started looking. Now look, it looks messed up. I will say that the feeling from whenever when everyone left so and now. night came and now we have lightning going on, it really feels like we're in the middle of a horror movie and I just hope that we are the subjects that make it out of here. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, I agree. And I also think that before I didn't, you know, this wasn't on camera at first, but we heard rattling on one of the doors. So just saying we weren't filming, but already going into this, it seems it's gonna be really active. So we're starting off here in the hospital building. Let's get inside. Whew. All right. So we'll do the first floor right now, huh? Yeah, so this is where a lot of bodies would have been. Yeah. Um, it just feels a lot. Of, okay, here we go. Oh, we are. Yep. Door closed too. So it's That's officially it. closed. 
Oh my god. Now we do hear like a crazy bird outside, but that's just yeah, something well, we're gonna have to yeah. deal with. I guess we can't control the bird. All right guys, so we are now in the infirmary of the old hospital here. That was the Yellow Fever Hospital. We've got our equipment already placed, so now we have two fluxes out to see if anything comes on either Water side. Bang. Is there anyone up here with us? Like what if I, what if you woke up and that was what was looking at you? Dude, I'd be really upset. <laughs> we're calling upon any of the spirits that were here that may have suffered from the yellow fever or any of the doctors, nurses, or soldiers that spent time here. We've got devices out on the floor and we want you to come forward and use them if you'd like to talk with us tonight. Oh, oh, that's me. You. That's me. Okay. I got freaked out. This was my home. This was your this home, was right? My after home. I just talked about them spending time here. Oh, for sure. They, I mean, all the soldiers were even living here. So, at this point. Were you a soldier, a doctor, or a nurse? We have devices on the ground. They won't hurt you. Can you talk to us through them? Like the triangle right there with the blue lights? Or this music box that went off when I stepped on it a minute ago? Here, ask that same question again. The doctor, okay. nurse, or soldier one. Three, two, one. Were you... Were you a doctor, a nurse, or a soldier? So I think it picked up the bird, so we may hear that. Okay. Doctor! It said At the very end, it said doctor. I thought it said soldier. Hey, really? play that back. again. Still. You heard soldier? I heard soldier. I hear er at the end, but I hear doc in the front. Put it against your uh, put it against our ears together. Hang on, this is this was clear though. Oh, I heard doctor. Oh, dude, <laughs> I hear doctor. doctor. Yo, it does say doctor. My bad. Dude, clear as day now because I. That I is so it. clear. It just doctor. goes doctor. Dude, we're keeping that. We gotta show our tour guide later. What is that? Oh, water Doctor. Okay, dude, one that more time. Was amazing. Just for everybody to hear. So at the very yeah. end, you'll hear the bird, and then you'll hear doctor. Yeah, this was great. <laughs> Dude, that is wild. I love that a lot. That is super clear. That's a triple, that's an A. That's like an A plus, like, great one. Okay, so if you're, a, that's great that you're a doctor. Could you let us know you're here? We have devices on the floor. Can you step in front of them? Any of them? There's blue blinking lights on either side. We actually need, we might need some help. We might have yellow fever and we're trying to wondering if you can help us. We might pass out after all the sweating. Towards? It said flashing and towards. Shot. And shot. Well, there is that light from the airport flashing, see? No, we have these flashing though. That's oh, alright. That's alright. Maybe please place the EVP light. Well, maybe we can put it right, right here. Well, let's try it. Dude, okay, so for the doctor that, come, that, that came forward and communicated, we're gonna let this device sit right here that you used to communicate with us already and record if you'd like to come forward and speak into it. 
Were you trying to treat people for the yellow fever? Have you seen anyone die here? Can you tell us where they stacked up all the dead bodies when this building overflowed? Do you know who Robert the Doll is? So when I asked that question, this did go the off. The others scare me. The others scare me. I just asked, do you know Robert yeah, yeah, the Doll? Yeah. I wonder if Robert scares the other entities here. Let's, yeah, dude. That, that might be a good question to ask. That could be legit, yeah. Nothing. Clear. That's that makes the previous EVP though really cool. Cause amazing. Yeah. That's amazing EVP. The only thing that we've gotten so far is there's a doctor Straight here. Straight up clear as day, doctor. But maybe he doesn't want to talk. So others scare me though too. Let's oh I just had a huge breeze come in right here. Yeah. Cool. And it's not very cool in here. Yeah, no, that was a great breeze. Maybe he's trying to show us or tell us something. Maybe like this side? Yeah. What if we place it over Secret. Secret? What if we place it right there? On that thing and ask it again. Emergency. emergency. The other Maybe like a medical emergency. It, no, it could be. Okay, here we go. Maybe we ask about Robert. Yeah, let's ask if, there's, if they're actually afraid of Robert. Okay, three, two, one. Are you guys afraid of Robert the doll? Did you die of yellow fever? Should we be afraid of anything here? Is it going to be okay for us to see Robert the doll right now? Alright, see if we got anything. Swing it. Robert the doll. It, it said, said Robert it. the doll. Yo, it said it. Wait again. It was like a dark voice. It said Robert the doll. It did say Robert the doll. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. Well, I almost heard now, I hear like, no. Yeah, it kind of changed. Let's try it one more time, listen back. Uh, I swear it was the doll the first time. I 
don't know. I can't hear it now. That's weird. I thought it said Robert the Doll. But it sounded like hear. Robert the Doll, and then I also hear no. Yeah. Like just no now. What's up with that? Unless it's just saying what we wanted it to hear. Yeah, like maybe we were hearing yeah. Robert the Doll. But I could have swore that's yeah. what it said. I know you. Dead don't rest. Drinking, yeah. I know you, dead don't rest, and it says drink. Well, something to point out with that, and this may not be anything related, but when the yellow fever was going on, they had a hard time getting fresh water out here. So there could have been many people that, from the heat, just dehydrated out here and died from dehydration as well as yellow fever. Yeah. Before we wrap this up, again, if you want to share or talk to us in any way, we are about to go to a tunnel or go see Robert Nadal right now. Can you warn us? Should we stop us? Give us a sign. listening. What do you think we should do? Should we go to the tunnel? I think that we should go to the tunnel, see if we get anything in there, and then Robert will be our last stop because we already know that when we go into Robert's room, that's going to be Every, the spot yeah. that we dump all of our energy into between Everything. the blood ritual. We're going to put out as much equipment as we can. I mean, Robert the doll is the reason that we are here in this fort, but we wanted to make sure that we could give the opportunity to any of the other spirits here to come forward and talk because I know that many people come here just for Robert and a lot of these folks may get ignored, but they may not want the attention. I know. Yeah. It does seem like that. I mean, we know there's a doctor here. I mean, dude, that Good was insane. Yes, there was a doctor here. It's facts. That was a great evidence, but that was almost it besides whatever the spirit talker was saying. So, yeah, all right, let's do that. Let's just pack up and go straight to that tunnel. There we go. So, what is that pox thing you got now? So, that is an EMF spike. It picks up on electromagnetic fields. Another EMF, oh, oh it just went off. That could be because of us. I, maybe. Maybe. I've got the sensitivity about 50%. Okay. So it's not as sensitive as it could be, but it's not as dull as it right, could be. Right, well, makes it more, you know, real. So we're right at about 50%. Yeah. And guys, again, we are in the hospital right now, and this is, oh, we are in the tunnel right now. This is where the bodies would overflow, so I had to stack them down here. And this is where everyone is actually scared. The people that work here are scared to go down there. We're here. And then this is also where Sam took off running and then ended up throwing up, was from being right. in this oh, hallway. What was that? I heard something. I heard a whistle. You heard that beat? Let's go down here. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's over here. Wait, the flux? Yep, the flux went up. I heard Behind it. Behind us. Yeah. See? Someone just entered here then. So, it's, so who, maybe someone was curious. Hello? Can you set one of our other devices off? You just have to walk by them or try and touch them. right now again. That was good. Someone just walked right over there, right by us. Are we allowed to be in here? Oh, the spike just went off. So, dude, someone just walked from there and to there. If, if the next one goes off down there, then they're like walking. They're we're, just, walking. we're just catching them. I know you. I know, I you. know you. Right away, I know you. How do you know us? It said sorry. I know you sorry. What are you sorry for? Don't be sorry. Are we allowed to go down this hallway? Is that going to be okay? What 
if you look at one of those haunted dolls in the eyes? Are you attached to any of the objects in here? Maybe the devil mask? That's us. Resemble. Resemble? Do we resemble somebody? If you want us to go into that room over there, can you touch that little blue blinking light on the floor? It's a weird room though. For all we know, it something could be lurking by the dolls. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Right now, it's hard to work here, guys. Just because of the vents, we cannot turn these off. Yeah, so just for the time of year it is, these are like the air vents to keep any airflow in here, and there's just no way for them to turn it off. So there's the spike again. I need you to try and use a little bit more energy and get that to yellow. So if you can touch it. I thought I just heard music. Yeah, me too. But Weird. the only thing that plays music is the music box and it didn't go off. Did we just hear like a... I don't know. Can you make a loud, audible noise? Or maybe throw something at us? What if we take my music box here and place it more down there? Path of Death! And that's literally down here. What is that? Spare box? Spare box. Could try it. Is there anybody here that'd like to speak with us? You know how to use that? Um, I can stumble my way into it. Republican marriage. What? I don't even get that. <laughs> Republican <laughs> marriage. <laughs> Wait. Is there anybody here with us that would like to come and speak uh, speak to us through this device? It's on. Yeah, it's on. Dang, it's low. Unless it, oh, it could only capture his voices. So we'll let that run. We need you to try and speak clearly and loudly because it's going to be hard for us to hear you otherwise. Dude, I don't know. It just feels like everything is dead. The yeah, only room dead. that has made me feel uncomfortable the entire time we've been here was one room. Which one? Th that that room? room? That room. Yeah, no. It There's only sense. one room here that I've walked into, which maybe tonight is just an off night for them. Like maybe they don't want to speak to us, but when I walked into Robert's room, like it really felt different in the entire complex. Well, dude, you said you were getting tingles in your, in your here when yeah, you were yeah. doing it. It was like spider webs on the side of my head, and then yeah. it would go away, and then spider webs again. Well, dude, when the interview was going on, it felt like my throat was closing. That was it, though. So, I'm just saying. So we both were feeling stuff. Maple. This looks like it's just one of those nights, like you said. It really does. I mean, I don't know. We were checking this out. Yeah, we wanted to give, like, like I said earlier, we wanted to give everything an equal chance. Yeah. But it seems really quiet here. It does. It was really quiet in the hospital, and we can't do any EVPs in here because of the exhaust vent. Yeah, no, I mean, it's all right. I mean, we could literally go to Robert. That's why we're here. It's just good to try out everything else, you know what I mean? And the other thing is, is it's like, you know, these are supposed to be really active spots, but again, just like any other haunted location, you can go in with the best equipment and, and just get nothing. get nothing. Yeah, get, dude, you can go to Conjuring House right now and get absolutely nothing. It happens, so it's all good. Let's just pack up and let's go actually investigate and see Robert the dog. Now, just think about this one thing really quick. All we right. are about to go for the first time since we've been here and unveil the most haunted object in the world. I know. Are you ready? We'll find out if I'm ready. We are about to investigate and reveal the most haunted doll in the entire world. 
You know, we have equipment laid out everywhere from music boxes here, fluxes, rim pods, EMF detectors. We literally have everything in our arsenal to try and make contact with Robert Zadal and see if it's a darker entity, to see if it's a little girl, to see if it's a collective of multiple entities that inhabit this one single doll. But these two Roberts on the floor right here have been sitting against this case since we got here to the museum. Now these are gonna be part of our blood ritual tonight, but before we proceed with the ritual, we are going to unveil Robert the doll. So for any of my viewers at home, this is your warning. If you do not want to potentially be cursed, turn this video off right now. It all comes down to this moment, bro. This is the this moment is that we have all. Let's take this piece of equipment so we don't do. It, what just, yeah, what just happened? That let's bring that part. This okay. is the moment that we have been waiting for since we got to this island. It's true. Everything comes down to this moment. Okay. So this is what I think we should do. I think we grab a corner and Both we just pull us. it on the count of three. All right. One, two, two three. three. Oh, God. Dude, the moment I pulled that off, oh my I don't know God. if it's in my head, but it's like electricity. Yeah. Just filled the air. My God. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's bigger than I thought. Oh, just for a tap. Some sort of tap, I just heard. I just kicked that. Okay, I okay. heard that. Okay, Robert. Wow. Heard something too again. Dude, I just, I didn't think he'd be that big. This doll is super big. A lot bigger than Annabelle. Yeah, so we're currently standing in front of Robert the doll, and he's actually wearing the clothes of his owner, Eugene Otto, but those are Eugene. <gasps> Shit. Right when I right, said right Eugene Otto. We had nothing going off on that device this whole night. Eugene Otto, are you here? Bro. That's wild. This is seriously like actually kicking off. There's like literal energy in the air right now. That was me. That was you, okay. I'm just showing the doll off. I just can't believe it. And you can tell it's old and, been, and has been restitched by the ear. I can almost like feel like heat coming from it. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's nuts. It's just wild. This is the doll that has been ruining people's lives. So with that being said, Robert, we don't mean you any disrespect. And what we are doing here tonight is to try and show you that we don't mean you any disrespect or harm. We're, we're giving you a piece of us in a sense. So please do not get angry at us, do not curse us. We are just here to try and communicate with you respectfully and, and give you an offering. We, we have you literally here and we want to show you that we, we truly want to just talk with you. Yeah, like we have a replica of you and we want to give you our blood in to show us our respect and you know learn about you maybe if you accept our offering you would maybe want to talk to us tonight and maybe guide us in the future in positive ways rather than negative ways that you do to others maybe you can cure us or dude, help us in the future dude, 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 dude. Something what just pulled on my chain right now something just pulled oh, on my man, chain you're scaring me i swear right now I, it literally just felt like something came up and just went Oh, oh man, dude, you made my heart drop. But all right, that's that's scary as shit. Is that is that you pulling on his chain? And is that in a good way? Do you want our blood? That's scary. 
I never have stuff that does that. Like I never feel yeah. anything touch me or anything, but it literally felt like something just came up and it was just pulling on my chain. Dude, yeah, I know. You look super scared. You scared me for a second. Dude, he is freaking super powerful, it seems. Like I can feel totally different from any room we've been in until right now. So I think, I hope, I hope this is gonna be, you know, something that you like and want. Because we have you. I mean, literally. This is, this is how we wanted to, to show you that yeah. we meant business. And I hope you really do accept this and talk to us after. So I think it's, it's time. time. It's time Should we do this one at a time? Yeah, well, here, we can leave. Let's get everything set up, and then okay. we can just jump right back into it. Yeah, okay. I'm nervous as fuck. I mean, okay, hey. We are the only people to ever do anything of this magnitude, even when we told Sam about it. He was like, you guys have, are taking this to another level. No, it should do it just went off. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, Robert, by the way, like, I don't think anyone has ever shared or wanted to give you a part of us, which is our blood before. So again, this is us really trying to communicate and talk to you more than anyone else has ever tried in their life. We are about to give a blood sacrifice to the most haunted doll in the entire world. Please say a prayer. Oh, recording. Okay, so we have the sewing needle kit here. We're going to take two of these needles and I'm going to disinfect them because whenever you do a blood ritual, make sure you're using disinfected needles. This is it, absolutely nuts to me. I'm not even kidding. Like, what are we doing? I actually almost pricked myself right there. Okay. I'm trying to, I feel like this is going to hurt. Oh, you didn't even open the doll yet. This is true. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set yours. Right here. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Dude, I'm freaking the fuck out. Like, actually. All right, Robert. Does it hurt too much? I got too many calluses on my... This has to be blurred. This is like, at the moment, not a YouTube friendly thing. There we go. It should be good, right? Like a dot. Oh my god. Are you stabbing it? Oh my god. Okay, Robert. To show you that we mean business. We, we are offering each a doll with a piece of us on it just for you and we're going to place this here as a token of our offering dude i feel weird oh my God. i feel i literally just gave a blood sacrifice to the most haunted object in the fucking world oh god your turn bub oh my god i'm freaking out We are in over our heads. <laughs> we are in over our heads. Did you do that yet? No, just do it again. Oh. So well. Just stick it to the top and then pour it towards you. Hold Dude, it up. Dude, I'm higher. like shaking out of fear. Just pour it towards you, yeah. Fuck it, I'll just do everything. I'll even pour it, yeah. I'm gonna do this finger, so. Just in case, just doing my whole finger. Okay. 
So, do you understand what we are doing? I need every single one of you who are watching this video right now to subscribe to both of us. This is insane. We are giving our blood, doing a blood ritual sacrifice to the most haunted object in the world. Like we already have mine sitting there and you can see the blood's already on it. Now what I'm gonna so do now is, it's Josh's turn. Yeah, I'm gonna take this box and actually move it for now over there. I think that's something we should do. All right, so I'm gonna do what you did. I'm gonna come down to the floor. Jesus, Christ. dude, this is absolutely insane. And again, most likely we're blurring this for you two, but. Okay. Now this does kind of hurt me. I'm not gonna, oh fuck. Yeah, this hurts. Oh. How'd you do that? You just gotta go in, baby. Oh my God, I'm trying. Here we go. There you go, you got some. Yep, hang on. That was a little bit. Give it a little bit more of me, just in case. You can see it there. Hang on. Here we go. Now, Robert, literally we're giving you us, but not out of disrespect. We just want you to talk to us. Come on, a little bit more. Ow. Here we go. A little bit. I just heard something behind me. Right now? Yeah. I almost want to put out Nick's hair, right on his head. So I have drops here and on his hat. Should I do a little more? You think that's okay? It's up to you. I look like I, uh... You look like you murdered him, and that's okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just want to do it. And then we, we want to talk to him. Yeah, no, that should be okay. Have blood on his hat, his body, same with you. You have more than me, obviously, but that should, I think, really do it. All right, Robert. We're gonna, oh. Okay, yeah, what should we do now? I think maybe. DR? Like, literally. Let's do a quick DR60, and let's just do open mic and see if Robert wants to say anything, and then we'll jump into the investigation. Yeah. Because okay. we've already given the sacrifice, now it's time to communicate. We should, all right, I'll put the needles back here. Yeah, let's just put that up. Okay, guys, so we are gonna sit down here with the, the Robert dolls that have our blood on them underneath Robert the doll. And we are gonna see if we can catch anything on an EVP recording. Okay, now if I sit on this side, maybe like right here. I'm trying to make sure this is angled good. You have, at least you keep your camera on. All right, Robert. Maybe explain to him what we have. Okay, so Robert, this sober device here is a way for you to communicate with us. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna hopefully pick up your voice. So if you come to this device, you'll see a red blinking light and you speak into it to, to be able to communicate with us. So if you wanna talk to us, if you are satisfied with the offering that we have given you, Please come speak into this device for us. And we're just going to be completely quiet, and we're going to do a open mic session. Can your voices to the right? Shoot, dude. It's getting like hot in here. 
Can I? You good? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh shit. Let's get out of here. You good? I don't know. Dude. I'm br I'm br Dude, I'm getting like a like a tightness I'm, in my chest. I'm I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh shit. Like it's like choking. Dude, your eyes. They're like turning red. No, I can't. Uh, uh, oh, what fuck. the fuck? Uh, oh my god. What what is going on? Dude, my eyes are starting to water. It's like... Mm. Oh. Like, my stomach is burning. My chest is burning. I got a tightness on my... Oh. I don't know what this is. I don't know. I may go to hospital. I don't know what to do. Oh man. Oh. It's like a burning on my chest. I've got like this fucking burning. No, me too. All right here. No. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck. Not going good, folks. We, uh,. We have a very sick Josh. I got really sick. This will be in the video, but this is fucking wild. Okay, so this is kind of a weird transition because you went from yeah. us panicking and running around the Citadel to now all of a sudden we're fine inside of the gift shop. So we didn't even film what happened to us, but I come into the gift shop and I see Josh literally sitting on the floor, taking his shirt off, Dude. pouring water on himself. Dude. Here's just what happened. So, I rushed through this door. This way, all right, by the way, why, you're gonna ask why did I didn't record this. I was in so much agonizing pain that I felt like I was on fire that I said, fuck the video, I don't care, I just stopped recording. I did not care what was going on anymore. It was just about me, my life, and I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was gonna call the cops on myself, and I, went, I didn't know what to do. I, I, I rushed, I actually broke one of the, I'm sorry, I broke one of your guys' doorknobs. Okay. Because I ranked it trying to get inside here, down there where that tunnel was. Couldn't do it, I'm trapped. I go find you again. I see you yakking over there on the lawn. <laughs> I, I come back, I go through this door, and I sit right here where this water was, and that's when you guys come in and, and, and I didn't film any of this. I said, oh, can I get the security system? But it's just not aiming at this one spot. So I'm not gonna say anything, I'll leave it to you guys. And you guys wouldn't just lie or anything. So what did I do so we can at least confirm this? Uh, you were like white as a ghost. Uh, I thought you were about to pass out. Like I thought there had like an ambulance was gonna have to come and, and take you out of here. And you looked, you looked like miserable. Yeah. Yeah, and, it looked awful. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then you went back there to see Robert while he was on the ground, didn't you? Yeah, so I went back to see what was going on with Robert, and I'm never afraid of that doll, and I'm, he was scary. Right? Yeah. And, and, then, and then what I'm doing while this is all happening, I'm taking my shirt off, and I'm pouring their water on me, and I'm, I'm asking them for food. Like I'm not, I didn't know what to do. It was insane, and and I don't, I, dude. I could tell you were freaked out. Yeah, you like truly seemed concerned and and, and scared. Um, <laughs> and once you came back though, once you got once you got out of here for a little bit, I could tell you like you perked back up. Yeah, no, I did. I well, did. He got to the car and threw up, which I I think I have. A you clip have a clip. All right, well, I have that clip. We, I was about to just leave for a minute or whatever, so I go to the car and then. I'm throwing up. I'm, I'm just throwing. Dude, I've never thrown up like actually from any kind of ghost related things. So I'm throwing up. That at least something we can show at that point. Yeah, like, hang on, let me see. 
Well, at least we have. I like, can put it. I can put it in the footage. I want to make sure. If I yeah, yeah. I just want to see that. So then, while that's happening, I'm starting to kind of feel better. Whatever. I come back. Well, let's see. Yeah. You have a very sick Josh. I got really sick. This will be in the video, but this is fucking oh. wild. Oh, you hear the you splatter hear, on the yeah, ground. I didn't, I didn't want to film okay. that. Well, we'll add that in on the full screen here. But anyways, as you can see, like this is no joke. This was by far the most craziest experience on any ghost thing or anything I have done in my entire life. Like, sure, we've been scratched and sure, like we felt like some other stuff like choking around the neck before. But this was on a crazier crazier level i really almost called the police or, or or the hospital i didn't know what to do i was panicking i couldn't breathe i felt like my entire face and body was melting i was on fire i felt trapped i was gonna have a panic attack and i just didn't care about anything else anymore but to feel better and that's why i even said to them i'm on the floor to you guys and i said listen i don't care about this video anymore i'm not filming it <laughs> yeah we, it. Did, we didn't film any of it yeah no we didn't i didn't film yeah. i was over there drinking water i said i don't care about the views right now and i said to you guys if i was faking this i would have been recording and I said to you guys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's not like yep. yeah that was like what was really scary about it. I was like oh man he's really like going through it that yeah really exactly so there's a, some scratches behind your ear right now oh yeah. that, that that could have just been me right now scratching I think I think it could have just been me regardless we were panicked mid mode I was going off but for you like what was going on, on your end because dude it because obviously what happened to me seemed to be triggering you at that moment so no so we do the EVP session and we're sitting there listening and all of a sudden I look over at you and you look like you're getting sick and all of a sudden I started coughing and it felt like a fire just lit up Same in my me. stomach exactly. and into my chest and my neck. So I'm like, we need to get out of here. So we get up, we run out to the, the courtyard and then it felt like I wanted to throw up and I tried to throw up and then I, I threw up right over there by the Citadel. And that's when I probably, is that when I came to you? That's when you that's came to right me when and you're I like, your door you're my like I'm cutting this. We got to go inside. I need water right now. And you're like running around the courtyard. Dude, I was in panic mode because I didn't know how to get back in here. I couldn't think of anything. I could you couldn't tell me the ABCs at this point. I was just like, get out. Where can I go? I was like spinning. It was dizzy. I was having, I was ready to have the, the panic attack. Dude. Well, and then I look at your eyes, dude, and your eyes are all fucking red and they're watering and shit. And I'm like, dude, I have no idea what is going on. But for some reason, dude. Robert the doll does not seem very happy. No, no. And at this point, again, anyone else at this point, we talked about this. Anyone else right now, maybe would just say, call it and leave. But we're we going flew back. a long I way to see this doll. So. We're gonna go back, we're gonna try to I just talk to him, maybe through some EVPs, whatever, and just kind of see what happens. If I feel, I told him already, if I feel even a touch, a, it could be a little, a blow, I'm done. And I'm done, you can stay, but I'm done. I'm actually, I'm gonna be done. Cause this, if I will actually quit ghost hunting altogether, if I feel anything like that ever again in my rest of my life, I mean it. So I'm done, I, I, right here, I would be quitting ghost hunting, I'll be back to abandoned videos only, I do not care, so. Just letting you know and letting everyone else know, I don't care. It was an agonizing pain. I'm not even kidding. So, all right. I just had to let this all out in a while. I'm just glad because now I feel way better. I feel, I feel like as if nothing happened. Well, your color's bad. Yeah, yeah okay. you were you're, ice when you were yeah. pale. You were yeah. like, Dude, I was like sweating death. on the ground and everything. Yeah. I was and it's so not even hot in his room. Like oh, the other parts yes, of the place, there, it's yes. not even hot. There's literally air conditioning yeah, in the okay, room and all of a sudden thing. we feel like we're lighting on fire. Like it wasn't heat exhaustion yeah. at that point. Like there's AC in there. We had already drank water. Yeah. All of a sudden it felt like there was a fire that just came up and then we ran out of there and it, and it slowly went away, but it took a minute. Yeah, for, yeah. It, it looked like for you, it's like you were all right after. I, I was dying. Yeah, I don't know. It I must have affected you. Dude. But remember, I told you, I told yeah. him beforehand, I've got the native Hawaiian ancestry. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe that's why it wasn't as severe yeah, for me yeah. as it was for you. But yeah. I don't know. Because I'm over there drinking water. Like, I'm hurting. But I was. Yeah. I look over at you, and you look like you're about to die in the floor. Dude, I could have been and dying like, on the floor. Like, I don't like know. you, crawl, and you, like, put your back against I, the Yeah, end. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, at one point, I said, all right, let me try to get up. I slid my back as if I got shot in the leg. And I'm just, <laughs> dude, I was, like, in war mode. It was... A nightmare. Like I feel like I'm gonna have PTSD from this. Like actually, it's like no joke. I I never want anything like this again. But for right now, let's just go back in there and just see what happens. At least, just see what happens. All right. All right. Okay. Well, so everything's being recorded. I'm recording everything. Like no cuts. This is. Yeah. 
This is straight balling. Yeah, this is no joke now. So I we're don't care. we're about to go back into the same room that just sent us running out literally probably 35 minutes ago. Yeah. So at this point, I need to give I need to say something to him just in case like if he does try to ruin my life. I need to say like things to him. So. Uh, Robert, was that maybe a test? You lit us both up. Like, actually, you hurt us both. Those just went off. Both of them just went off. The triangles, both at the same time, both sides. Just saying. That's now red doll. That, that was me. That was me. Um, we just want to say we're sorry. We are very, very sorry for what happened. And I'm, I, I never meant to hurt you or harm you if that's what you thought we were doing. We really actually like you and just want to talk to you, which is why we gave you dolls of yourself and put put our blood on it for you unless that's that unless that's him saying like you're a part of us now maybe that was I like what know, it feels that, like that was like a i don't know so again robert we're yeah. sorry we yeah. did not mean to disrespect you if that's the way you took that and that's what we got from that we're super sorry but we didn't mean to, to put these actually your doll so. your doll moved it does look like it is, is moved a little bit there. I think it did move because your doll was straighter. And I didn't touch it. We haven't even been in here. Yeah. We you're, just got back. Yeah, no, your doll, that doll moved. That was a straight doll. Okay. I don't know. Is, are we recording on anything else? Uh, I got this one running. Let's get the other camera done. Yeah, let's get these back on. Yeah, again, we're recording everything now. Well, we've been recording everything, but I'm sorry. All right. Let's go ahead and sync mics. I fucked with, I feel like I just really fucked everything up, but I hope everything's okay. Alright. Okay, um, so I think you're gonna you're gonna think I'm crazy for this, but I think we sit down and we try and do another EVP session. And good alright. And yeah. and hopefully this time we don't light up. Dude, what do you mean light up? We fucking burnt. This person it, it felt like a burned. fire. It literally felt like a fire. This thing is no joke. We should not even be sitting back where we are right now. But again, I feel like I, and one of the reasons why, like, again, he's even, you know, hearing me. I believe him, just so you know. So I'm giving it a, a him or, or I guess a her. What was that? That was a huge bang. The moment I put the epic yeah. on his box. What I'm saying is, I believe everything about this doll, the letters and everything after what I felt and been through. This is actually a very PTSD kind of thing for me now. Like, now I feel like if I go somewhere else, like I, I never, never want to go through this again. Like, I'm not joking, but now I need to complete this with this doll because what if we get haunted now later? What if we get cursed later now? What if our life has now become shit because of this? Well, you know? I think, we I need think questions thing, and answers. We need to ask him if that was him that did that. Who else could do that? I mean, that's true. He's the only one in here. Yeah, yeah, no. no one, Maybe we, we should ask why. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm just hearing growls. All right, here we go. Okay. Robert, can you tell me why you attacked us? Robert, we mean no harm to you, and we like you. Did you take offense to us offering these dolls with our blood? Are you going to curse us? All right. Let's see if we got any 
So my other thing too, now that you stopped, is after take the DR60 and put it on top of the glass above. Okay. Just. Just to see. Yeah. Just listen to this thing. What was that the end? Yeah, was it me saying I? Yeah. Why you said that? I, I think so. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's uh, try it on top of this yeah, case. Yeah, let's try it on top of this case. Why wouldn't he even write to respond to that? I mean, we didn't I mean he it. literally had the strongest power. Let's uh, let's to, put it right here, maybe. Okay. Oh, dude, be careful. Yeah, I don't even want to go some anymore, bro, for now. It right. might take a, like a month off. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking, like just a little bit. That that was really too much for me, man. Remember when we said Eugene Auto and then everything went off? Yeah, well, let's, let's say that. Okay, three, two, one. Robert, did you not like the fact that we brought up Eugene Auto? Are you going to hurt one of us for what we did? Robert, can you tell me why you attacked us? Are we one with you? Weird. What about Spirit Talker? We haven't tried Spirit Talker in here. No, we wish we had the, the Spirit Box. One of those might work. Ugh. Oh my god. Dude, I just like, I don't know if it's because of what just happened. Did he just use everything to could, to fuck with us both and he's done? Like, or was that him being our go off? Oh. <gasps> what the fuck? What did we just say? We were talking about energy, so he still has energy, it's just he's just, not choosing uh, to use it. Can you do that again? It's a no. no. So he's not wanting to use his energy. Okay. Are we, I just want to know if we're safe. It's going to bother me now if something bad happens, like actually. Damn. We apologize. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're here in person. We don't want to send you a letter because we're apologizing in person. We didn't mean you any disrespect. Yeah, we're really sorry. Really, really sorry. It just said no. It just said no. Do you accept our apology? If you accept our apology, can you light up the left side of this blue device right here? We'll leave, actually. Message. message. Okay. Message. Maybe he has a message. Yes. 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 He's got a message. Okay. So we're not going to ask you any questions. Just tell us right here what you want us. Yep. Stranger. Stranger. Maybe maybe he didn't like that he didn't know us and that we're trying yeah. to. Yeah. We we are we consider you our friend. So just say whatever you want into this. Just speak into that yellow light or that red light as loud as possible.
Ronald. Maybe that could be one of the entities that's in Robert. Who knows, dude? All right, let's see. My energy is not the same. What? Was that something there? No, absolutely nothing. That was just them saying Ronald that's, to the. I mean, we're that was nothing. Anything. Nothing. Isaac. Isaac. That's another name. Okay, I do have an idea. Okay. What right. So it seemed like he affected you the most. So what if we put you under for Estes? Dude. I know. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but yeah. if we could put you under for Estes to try and make a connection with Robert, because he affected you the most. All right. I mean, just to find out more, I mean, I want to make sure we're leaving this place not yeah. cursed. Yeah, okay. All right, let's try. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just going to let this run. Okay. We can just set really quick. At this point, yeah, let's do it. I'll just keep this one rolling. Hey, it just said lover. Maybe that didn't <laughs> Take that. Dude, I'm not drained. Like, dude, no, I am. back into this room. Oh, no, we are so drained. Dude, I almost, I don't even give a shit about this day anymore. Or this, or anything. I can go home right now. I don't care. I have nothing to prove. Oh, whoa. That freaked me out. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I said beautiful and I said love. Hey, thank you. All right. Here you go. Maybe, uh. I'll just. Oh. Oh. I mean, just for you guys at home and everyone who's watching, I have nothing to prove anymore. This is a real doll. It's haunted. What's the odds of, all right, let's say I had a heat stroke. Let's just say, for whatever reason, if upset, upset me. me. Maybe we upset Robert. I don't know. The, the point is like, it was very, very real. And the fact that it didn't just happen to me, but it happened to you at the same time shows that i don't know that could have been i don't know what that means i really don't know i'm good with leaving but i'll do this yeah you might need this or oh, this is going quick. really fast yeah, slow. Okay. did it say josh i don't know i thought it did i think it just said josh through that okay so i'm gonna cut my camera okay and we'll use josh's all right now, really quick, do you want me to stand? Do you want me to stand here? Dude, that's the third name we've gotten. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'll just stand. All right, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I'm calling upon Robert or any of the entities that are inside of Robert to come forward and speak through the spirit box that Josh is listening to. Robert, can you tell me why you attacked us? It is. Is this Robert that we're speaking to? Robert, we didn't mean you any disrespect. Medical and medicine. Here. Earth. Did you appreciate the offerings that we left you? Stay here. You want us to stay here? Yes, say. Robert, if we leave this place, will we have a curse? I did. I need you to be very clear, Robert. Will we have a curse if we leave this place? I'm trapped here. Are you trapped inside of the doll? I think so. You think or I so? Think, I don't know what it said. How many of you are inside of Robert? Is there a number of, of entities inside of Robert? You'll die, one. Oh no. Please don't tell me that. I just want to get out of here. You'll die. No, I just want to get out of here safely, Robert. Can you please forgive us? What did that say? Kiss me. Trapped here. 
That also said trapped here. You want me to kiss you? I can't get to you, Robert. Can I kiss one of these dolls? Home. Why did you attack us? Can you tell me why you attacked us? So, really quick, I feel like there's someone right in front of me standing here. I feel him and everything. Just right here. Are you, are you standing in front of Josh? I do. I am. I am? Okay. Is there, a, is. is there a reason that you attacked him more than you attacked me? Help. What do you need help with? I'm like sweating in here, but it's, I mean, look at that. I got like a weird... Forest rise. Forest rise? Robert, do you miss Eugene? That was a weird noise. Do you miss Eugene Otto? He does. He does. So is there somebody else inhabiting Robert too? Let him, let him go. How many spirits reside within the doll behind the case? How many spirits are in Robert the doll? I want a number. One. One spirit? What is your name? Is this Amelia's daughter? That just said no. You must be very powerful to cause this much anguish and pain for so many people that come here. Heard a girl say either lonely or little. Dude. Tired? Are you tired? Jeez. I really feel like, bro, there's like, I had to open my eyes for a minute. I almost think there's someone right here. Did you use all of your energy to get us out of this building? It is. Robert, if you can come through and say the word ice cream, we will leave this building and never come see you again. Eugene. Eugene. Oh my gosh. Eugene. Is Eugene attached to Robert now? I appreciate you. Did you appreciate the offering that we left for you? If this is Eugene, can you touch that blue device in front of Robert the doll? I appreciate it. You appreciated our, our ritual, our offering? Is that what you're saying? You appreciated the offering? It is, or it, yes. It seems like, it seems like there's a delay between the questions and answers because we're getting one like down the road and it's kind of answering one that we've already asked. So I don't know how. The devil is real. I heard yes twice. If you, Robert. Do I you, heard girlfriend and yes, yes, like a girl's voice. Robert, do you get your energy from the devil? Do you have evil roots? If you have evil roots or evil power, either come through or use this blue device. One more time. If you have evil roots or evil power, come through this device or that device. No? You don't want to listen to me? Are you tired of us being in your space, Robert? That said yes. If you can flash that again, yes. Visitor. If you can flash yes again, we will leave you alone, Robert. Taylor. Stay. So you don't want us to leave. 
I want you to stay. You want me to stay? Well, we can't stay with you, Robert. Are you upset that one of the employees is leaving tonight? Cancer. No, please don't cause us any cancer. Don't, don't threaten me like that. Robert. Girl's voice said Robert, just adding that in. Robert, please don't cause us cancer. Can you please promise that you won't do anything like that to us? Appreciate you guys, full clear. I just saw this weird light anomaly move down. We appreciate you too, Robert. Can you, can you accept our apology for what we did here and not curse us? It's okay. Okay, so we had this, we had a few weird answers. I asked how many spirits are in Robert and it, it said one. I did say one, I remember saying one twice. Which is kind of weird because you know, we've had the theory that um, Robert has multiple entities inside of the doll, but we had spirit talker said the devil is here. I'm making noise. Spirit talkers of the devil's here? Yeah. That's weird because so I did almost hear demon, but I never said it. But then, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that was happening, bro, that was getting words. I couldn't make them all out. But everything that kept saying clear was literally a girl's voice. So. And I asked if it was Amelia's daughter, but it said no on the epic box. Okay. So maybe, yeah. maybe it's the wrong girl or maybe it's somebody else. But I tried to ask why they attacked us. Nothing. I tried to ask. If we could leave here. What if, my theory is, what if this doll is just lonely, wanting attention, and that burning feeling was on an, like their only way to connect, but they, didn't, they don't know how it feels. An idea? Yeah, almost like, almost like they wanted to try and express, because you kept saying appreciate, you said appreciate, and they didn't want us to leave, so maybe Robert the doll appreciated what we did, but when they tried to almost like reach out and you know, maybe thank us. Yeah. It turned into this burning sensation. I mean, what did I say, of course? Court? Court. I mean, I like to think that way because that's what I'm hoping myself too. I don't want to have my life ruined by the doll either. And again, I said, I'm sorry, but I mean, that kind of does make some sense. Well, and, and it kind of got the sense that maybe Robert's tired, which, I mean, he sent two grown men running out of the room and all the equipment's gotten very stagnant and it seems like the responses are like delayed almost. So I'm wondering if this entity or multiple entities is running out of energy. So- Oh yeah, yeah, so right here, I feel like someone just like this to me, matching up to me, looking at me. And so I opened up my eyes at one minute because I really thought at this point you got about right here to me. So I don't know if there's something guarding the box or what if, I don't know, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting at right now. That's my, that's all I got. So, so I don't know about you. I feel drained. Dude, I'm never doing this place again. I feel tired. It would take a lot to get me to come back into this building. Yeah, no. I don't even know if I could put a number value on that. All I know is it would take a lot for me to come back to this building. I'm never coming back here again, and unless like, dude some bad stuff would have to happen for me to come back to apologize 10 more times. Like, I am sorry. Yeah, we're sorry, Robert. Please accept our apology. We don't mean you any I do, I disrespect. do respect the fact that it did say appreciate. I, you know, I, I remember clearly saying appreciate a few times because I'm hearing them say it. So, this could be good. But, are we, what did that say? He shouts. He shouts, okay. I don't know, you, you wanna just get out of here, honestly. Yeah. Um, I want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, I literally felt like I caught on fire and ran out of here the first time. We came back to try and see if we could get some answers. It was pretty quiet. We had a few Estes responses match up, but I really think whatever attacked us or, or maybe just reached out to us and, and spent energy on us is tired now. So I say we get out of here. Please. Yeah, please. I've been following you. I've been following you. Yeah, it makes sense. We had someone right here the whole time. I'm feeling it. Yeah. All right. 
Guys, we're gonna, well, I'm gonna talk to you guys more just out of this place, but yeah, let's just kind of pack up, dude. Okay, guys, so we are going back into Robert's lair to say goodbye, because that's, that's a critical part of this and hoping that we don't leave under the worst circumstances. Yeah, I had to get the cam for this just to say peace out. Yeah, so I'm gonna just say it. Actually, I don't remember if we said goodbye. I don't think we did, right? No, we didn't. Yeah, so I'm gonna say goodbye, Robert, and thank you for your, your time, and I appreciate you. Yeah, goodbye, Robert. Thank you for uh, not killing us, kind yeah. of. We, uh, we are happy to come see you, and you are well worth the trip to Key West. Yeah, yeah. We came, you know, we, we flew on a plane just to come see you, so thank you, and yeah, goodbye. Until next time, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so, over here you said, what is this? So things that you can cleanse with, it's even like, uh, and here, some holy water. Okay. Put a little bit on your hand, on the back of your neck. You can do that, or you can try this too. This is called Florida water. Uh, it's very popular in like Santeria. Um, it's alcohol based. They, in Santeria, they use it to cleanse like their altars and they use it like different spells. Uh, put a little on your finger and do the same thing. It goes on the back of your neck. All right, I'm gonna do both. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing both. Okay. Oh, no. all right, smells good. Putting some there. Some holy water, hang on. All right, put in some there. All right. Just in case. Dang. Honestly, just Dang. in case. Just in case. You don't know. You would do the same. I'm good. You're not doing it? No, I'm good. All right. I believe, baby. I'm right. good. I'm good, Josh. Well, your letter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously, I'd wait for your letter, bro. I got the address. I know where All to send right. it. That's fine. Okay, so you have made it to the end of probably the most wild night I've ever had as an investigator. Um, it was it was an experience, and that's the only way I can describe it. I don't know that I'd ever want that to happen again, but now that I can say that I've had that happen, I'm kind of more open to the possibilities of something going wrong from me being reckless. Does that mean that I stop being reckless? Absolutely not. But now I can anticipate that things can happen when we do things out of the ordinary. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know that Josh went through a month of turmoil after this from having something go inside of his eye to missing flights to losing baggage. Josh went through the ringer after this video and, and he hasn't even investigated since. So he's just now getting back out there. I hope you guys appreciate all the work that went into this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to myself and Exploring with Josh if you haven't by now. And comment below what your favorite part of this episode was. Um, and I'm sure some of you won't like this episode and that's perfectly fine. But you can't say that we aren't at least trying to push the limits of comfort. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoy the episode. But this is the end of Robert the Doll. And I hope I never have to see that damn thing again.